All right, so today in class, I want to talk about um, belts and pulleys. We've got our drill press up here. Uh, the drill press, of course, has a shaft with four pulleys on the motor. We've got an idler pulley that's got, that shaft has four pulleys. And then we have our spindle shaft uh, that controls the drill chuck. And this shaft, of course, has four pulleys on it too. So we're gonna to talk today about how we use belts and pulleys to change the RPM. Again, this motor is just a single uh, RPM on that motor. But as soon as we flip the switch, the electric signal goes to it, turns that motor on and spins it at one RPM. But we're using pulleys so that we can get a total of 12 different speeds on this particular machine. So I'm going to keep that up. Uh, and our RPM that we can achieve on the high side is 3100 RPM. And on the low side, it's 300 RPM. And I really, other than positioning the pulleys uh, and the belts on the pulleys, all I know is what those 12 RPMs are. I don't really know how much RPM is generated or uh, here on my input with the motor. So we're gonna use what we know about pulleys and belts to try to calculate this out. Now, remember in class I mentioned 